Now investigators want your help finding these guys. Eric Lufer live in the neighborhood near Delmo Park off 6th Avenue. And Eric, the crooks may have a hard time getting away with this one. Absolutely, Molly, and that's because the owners of the home, they actually have surveillance cameras all over their property, and I've got a picture for you because they sent the surveillance to police, and now police have these pictures circulating all over the place showing the suspects. They're hoping that they can have somebody who recognizes this person so they can make an arrest. It's really unexpected. They've been here forever. Coom Wynn couldn't believe what he saw on his surveillance video after a night of shopping, finding his house had been broken into. When we got home, we saw this door knocked down um, to the ground here, and um, we saw the video that uh, the gentleman was kicking this door in uh, about three times before he finally kicked it in. Watch now as the suspect uses all his force to take down the door, and he finally gets in. This is the very same camera aimed at the door the crook kicked in the night of December 6th. The crook had no idea that Kuhn has 16 cameras wrapped all around his house. He went straight for the bedroom and uh, they took our jewelry box and um, they took the pillowcase and they put everything in the pillowcase and they ran back out this door. They were in the house less than two minutes. All his other neighbors were just sitting down for dinner. No way, he's gonna go run through the window. I went around showing neighbors the shocking video to see how they'd react. So this guy in plain view, he doesn't even have a mask on, probably has no idea he's on camera. Look at him tiptoeing. The thief wasn't alone. From a camera on the side of the house, you see a woman who looks to have noticed the camera. So she disappears in the shadows. After the break-in, they ended up getting away with jewelry, leaving behind things like TVs and laptops. It makes me wonder, should I even stay over here in this neighborhood, you know, since you have crooks over here, and why do people do that anyway? Kuhn Nguyen tells me that the thieves got away with seven to $8,000 worth of jewelry, and it looks like, Molly, that crime is on the increase in general in this neighborhood. Several neighbors I talked to are saying a lot of cars have been broken into lately. I'm Eric Lufer, 7 News.